You can now use official Photoshop application on your Android phone. Recently, Adobe launched a Photoshop app for Android and you can download this from Google Play Store. Right now, it's in beta. Plus, you can try all the premium features for free for limited time. You know the Adobe. Yeah, there is going to be a subscription, obviously. But if you're someone who really wants to use Adobe Photoshop on your phone, now you got it. And this isn't the first time Adobe making a Photoshop application for mobile devices. There was a Photoshop application, which was a full blown Photoshop application, but it didn't work on all Android devices. It was more for the bigger screen like tablets and more powerful, uh, you know, phones. But now this one is a little bit different and it's not a full blown Photoshop application. Let's actually open this, but it has some of the features that you find on the full blown desktop Photoshop application. So this is the user interface. So let's create a new blank canvas. Okay. And here we can uh, choose the aspect ratio and all that just like in full blown Adobe Photoshop. Yeah, there is even a, uh, what do you call it? YouTube thumbnail section. Yeah, let's click on that. And here is our blank canvas. If we click on plus icon, we can add empty layers, adjustment layers, text layer, and even import images. So technically, even if it's not a full blown, you know, Photoshop application, but it kind of has all the features like layers and everything, you know what I'm trying to say here. So it's still a advanced photo editor. So let's add a image here by clicking on image layer. I'm going to add this image because that's the only image that I have that I can show you guys on my device. Okay. So we can select this. Okay. It actually works just like a desktop Photoshop. Like we select it, move it around. We can resize it. Okay, and uh, if we can skew it, we can change the perspective. Again, as I said, even though it's not a full blown Photoshop application, you have almost all the features of desktop Photoshop. We can even do a selection here. So let's try to remove the background. So we can select this one and it will create a mask. You can see here and we can apply it. When we apply it, we can actually see the selection around our object or whatever we have okay so here we can do a generative fill so you know the ai stuff okay or we can remove the background so if we click on apply as mask it's going to remove the background we can also add a adjustment layer here so let's say we want to change the brightness and contrast and all that so we can change it just like that and we can actually see all our layers we can scroll okay the paint feature it says coming soon so there are some features like still missing so let's click on retouch here you can see a lot of the features are going to be a premium features here okay spot heal remove clone all those features with the crown icon <laughs> yeah those are premium features but Right now it's free uh, while it's in beta for a limited time, basically. So we have a spot heal, we have remove tool, stamp tool, and lightning and darken tools are coming soon. So if you want to use some of the advanced features like these ones, then you'll have to get the subscription. So the one thing that is good about this application on phone is that yeah partially is going to be free you'll be able to do some basic editings without any subscription you'll be able to create multiple layers and you can add texts and everything select area thingy for some reason doesn't have crown icon or subscription icon on it so maybe you'll be able to use this for free like if you want to remove background or something yeah uh, right now, it looks like it's going to be free. We even have lasso tool. No, oh, okay. So it's going to be free. Okay. We have object selection. Yeah, that's premium. So magic wand. I don't think magic wand needs to be premium. It's a basic feature. I mean, I get it. The object selection tool. This can make uh, selecting objects easy, but the magic wand, it should be free. Come on. Again, as I said, this thing is still in beta. So 
right now you can try all the features for free so again as i said if you're someone who wants to use photoshop yeah here it is and it almost works just like desktop version of photoshop it has almost similar features works differently because uh, mobile phone has the smaller screen so you know almost all the basic features like layers uh, object selection text you know uh, adjustment layers and all that are here it actually feels like a full-blown photoshop on android phone it is actually pretty good and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.